Welcome back to NurseNet Numeracy, the free to use online maths tutorial course designed for nurses. This is lesson two within the calculating dosage course of NurseNet Numeracy. In this lesson, we're going to look at how we can convert units to help us work out dosage calculation, especially if the information we are given is in different metric units. So in the previous lesson, we looked at working out basic dosage and we had the formula prescribed dosage divided by stock dosage, multiplied by the volume of the solution the stock dose is in, and this was an easy calculation, as both the stock dose and the prescribed dose were both in milligrams, and we didn't have to convert any units. But what if the information we're given isn't in the same units? So for example, we have the prescribed dosage in milligrams, but we have the stock dosage in grams. We will therefore need to do some conversion so that both the prescribed and the stock doses are calculated in the same metric units. So let's give an example. A patient is prescribed 4 grams of a drug and the stock dose is 250 milligrams in a 500 milliliter solution. How much of the solution should we give the patient? And give your answer in its simplest form. Well, notice the simplest form bit of the question. We'll come back to that element at the end. Now, we can either convert everything into milligrams or we could convert everything into grams. So let's convert into milligrams. And we need to think back to the converting metrics lesson within the foundation of maths element of this course. We know that to convert 4 grams into milligrams, we need to use the scale factor of 1000. So we multiply 4 by 1000 to convert into 4000 milligrams. And now we can answer the question. 4000 milligrams divided by 250 milligrams equals 16. 16 multiplied by the volume of the solution, in this case 500 milliliters, gives us 8000 milliliters of solution. But now we want to convert this into its simplest form thinking back to the question. So at this stage, we should be able to see that 8,000 milliliters can be converted into liters if we again use the scale factor of 1,000. And this time divide 8,000 milliliters by 1,000 to give us 8 liters. So let's do another together. Only this time, we need to really concentrate on how many steps we need to make the correct conversion. So let's look at the question. A patient is prescribed 0.2 grams of a drug and the stock dose is 25,000 micrograms in a 100 milliliter solution. How much of the solution should we give the patient? The first thing we should notice is that we're going to need to do a two-step conversion process to get grams into micrograms. So step one, using a factor of 1,000, multiply 0.2 grams by 1,000 to give us 200 milligrams. Step two, using a factor of 1000 again, multiply 200 milligrams by 1000 to give us 200,000 micrograms. So now we can do our calculation. 200,000 micrograms divided by 25,000 micrograms gives us eight. eight multiplied by 100 milliliters gives us 800 milliliters. Therefore, our answer is 800 milliliters. Okay, it's your turn. A patient is prescribed 0.6 grams of a drug and the stock dose is 250 milligrams in a 100 milliliter solution. How much of the solution should we give the patient? You can pause the video and replay when you're ready to reveal the answer. Okay, we should have noticed that we need to multiply 0.6 grams by a factor of 1000 to make it into milligrams. Therefore, 0.6 multiplied by 1000 gives us 600 milligrams. 600 milligrams divided by 250 milligrams gives us 2.4. 2.4 multiplied by 100 milliliters solution gives us 240 milliliters of solution. Therefore, our answer is 240 milliliters. 
If you're now feeling confident, try out the Dose with Conversion course on NurseNet Numeracy. You can find lots more maths help at www.nursenet.uk or if you're simply looking for your next career move in nursing, do check out our jobs board.